let's get straight into it So still, we started with this tool that's working more or less okay. We're now turning it into a Flask application. And let's see how that goes. Do we have so far? Is this We're still getting an error plot? This couple of shits. Uh, um, let's see which one is which. I think this is starting fresh. Yeah, I couldn't solve the error that we are getting. I don't know what's up. And that's actually a literature review on the topic of um, ECG mix diagnosis. And we'll get to that in a bit. Let's actually start another chat. Just pop this in because before uh, we started with the code and then gave the bot the error message. But maybe if we do the other way around give it the error message first to review your code that you are setting at an integer or a string as the status code and check where status variable coming from so it must be Coming from the it's actually commented out. I don't get anything. Let's see if it can solve this error. So it's suggesting just to return to 100. That's obviously... Wait a sec. And status 200. Can I do that in here? And no, that's good. It's not the solution. To review code, setting an integer. Duration flow, this is data generate, this is data. Turn data points and ECG. These two are of a wrong um, type. Let's quickly check, quickly, quickly check the original code. So this is where we uh, started off. That Flask application used to work fine before many of the 
a cg plot right because it was um, actually generating an image so we changed that still generating image still returning an image it's, re it's just something else but it's still an image it's HTML check all the returns from now on Right, this is returning a JSON file. It's turning the image into JSON, which is weird. Right. This is returning the process data, but this is JavaScript. Um, Not even entirely sure which line is the uh, problem with. So I gave it the error. I gave it another error. Maybe now I can give it the Python code. Let's see what it says. revised part of the code but it's not addressing the actual uh, problem oops control shift c it boxed ensuring there is not unintentionally passing a numpy array from the private code that doesn't seem to be a direct indication that numpy Array is being set. Concrete steps. Provided call. The relevant section is um, JSON file. To list. For the bugging and prints them to print the type of data. Sure, we're already doing this. Okay, let's do it again. Um, response. Type response. Sure that the status code is an integer. And not being somehow replaced or influenced by a numpy array. Let's run this again. So I don't get it. Where a control shift C a where is printed because I can't really see it. Using the print stand in the Flask application, the printed output is typically appear in the terminal or console of the Flask. Uh, if you edit the following code, you should see the printed output in the terminal where your Flask app is running. You should start your Flask app using. Uh, okay. So 
So is it in this response or not? Where in the empath terminal The trace back you provide to get there occurs when they're trying to set the status code of the response, but it appears there's no direct reference to this last application code provided earlier. In the error log you provide clarify suggests adding the print statement for the debugging person, but the error log provided does not contain that printer. It would be in the standard output, not in the error log. So we need to look there to find what standard output is the standard output that's the console it should be over here somewhere okay i'm really confused right before every return Another return. Is this what returning five hundred regardless of what I do? Oh yeah, what am I doing wrong? Do I need this? error handler I mentioned this thing is some sort of silly mistake that I have made but I can't see it at the moment probably don't need that why can't you solve this error uh, should be something fairly simple. Uh, still getting uh, this is the code. There might be a confusion with the root and how fast is handling the response, the error. Originates from attempting to make numpy array into HTTP status code, which is not appropriate. Status code should be an integer. They are occurring in the generate ECG data when the post request is made to this road is directly calling the generate ECG function, which is returning a tuple containing data and a numpy array. Flask is attempting to convert this into a response and failing because it doesn't know how to convert a numpy array into a HTTP response solution. At the point CCG, it fixed the response. Construct this G. Specifically, you should not return a numpy array directly. You can convert it to a list as you did in the other route and return it as part of JSON response below as the revised part of your code. Okay, so we have our generated CG data. Duration is an integer. Heart rate is an integer. That makes sense. Now, response. Um, we have data points so instead of returning data points in ECG That point span point, I assume that instead of this, 
Okay. We do that a bit. Response data. Yes, we have a CG, oops, CG to list. Turn the just for response data to 100. Reservation not be array is converted to a list before being returned to Python's JSON response and ensure that the numpy arrays are converted to native Python types like list that can be easily listed. So does this mean that I do not need to do to list conversion elsewhere? I'm doing it like too many times already. So if this ECG so ready converted just the print that's commented out yeah we have it response right well, surprisingly that worked In the first rule of engineering, if it works, uh, don't break it. Okay. So we are in. Can now make progress. Okay, so GPT-4 only took half an hour to solve this problem and it did great now we can move on